you shouldn't return no collections, and in this video I will show you what you should do instead. But first let's talk about the problem that we want to address. When a method can't find data, the most common reaction is to return a null. Why? Because it's simple, it's easy, it's the obvious thing to do. And the typical scenario where we will do that is when you are accessing a database trying to retrieve some data and you can't find the data that you are looking for. So you will return a null. And what's the problem with that? The problem is that now the caller needs to handle that null. So you have a kind of an even contract between those two, the provider and the caller. And that even contract doesn't rely only on that relationship. It will scale as the number of consumers of that class that is returning the null starts growing. So every single consumer will need to do the null check to make sure that you didn't return a null. Otherwise, any of those can throw an exception, an object reference not set. But the good news is that there's a simple fix for that. But before we go there, let me quickly share something with you. If you like tips like this, you will be happy to know that I have a new clean code course available at Thumbtrain. And if you are one of the first, you can get the course with 50% discount. For that, you just need to use the promo code CleanGee. The course starts with a code base with a lot of problems and will work through those problems trying to improve the source code, to simplify it, to make it maintainable. And during the process, you learn what makes code clean code. But now let's get back to our tip. So let's get back to our fix. The fix is quite simple. Every single time that you are inside of a method that is about to return a collection, and for some reason you have to return a null, or you think you have to return a null, what I want you to start doing is that instead you return an empty collection of that same type. If you do that, you simplify your code a lot and you remove that responsibility of null checking from everywhere that is consuming that source code. So your code becomes simpler, easier to maintain, and more stable. Because as you know, nulls can be a nightmare. But this tip alone will not throw away all the null checking from your source code. But if you watch this video right here, you will learn a technique that is the object null pattern that will help you to avoid all the nulls.